Hi all, welcome to Hi-Fi Tech. I'm starting a new course, which is Nokia NRS1 certification course. This course is equivalent to CCNA. Uh, in this course, I will be uh, going through the Alcatel Lucent. They have two series, 7750SR and 7450ESS. I will uh, discuss this in detail. Then IP addressing, switch networks, spanning tree, VLANs. Uh, the rest are all uh, courses that belong to CCMA. So MPLS, VLAN, TCP, UDP, introduction to IP routing, all this. So let's start with the series. Uh, Nokia has two series, uh, uh, 7750, we will, I will discuss now. It has three chassis types, SR1, 7, and 12. Chassis type means that the number of cards which can be installed. So in SR1 is only one card can be installed, SR7, seven, seven slots for the cards, and SR12 has 12 slots. So let's discuss first the, the picture you see below is for SR12. Uh, it has uh, different card types. Let me discuss them first. Uh, the first card is SF CPM. SF means uh, uh, switch fabric and CPM is uh, control process module. Then we have IOM, input output module, and MDA. I will discuss them more in detail. So CPM uh, is a controlling card, so we always keep a redundant uh, protective card in case one falls, it will switch to the second one. So there is always uh, two cards for control unit. Uh, you can see them here. Uh, and their function I will discuss in later. So SFCPM, uh, this is one of the most important architect feature of Nokia 7750 and also for 7450 series ESS. Is the separation of control uh, function and data function. So Nokia, what they do is they separate the uh, control function uh, of their uh, unit and also the data function is different. MDA. MDA is known as media dependent adopter. So data function involved the, uh, in the, the data function that we have discussed in uh, SFCPM is involved the reception, processing and forwarding of user application traffic. Uh, data coming in from a remote network like uh, customer or uh, sites ingress through the MDA, uh, where the data is formatted into internal format. So what MDA do is, it takes the customer data and convert it into an internal format, that which is then sent to IOM, input output module. So MDA first receives the data from the customer, and convert it into internal format, which can be understand by IOM, input output module. The data is then processed to IOM module where the decision to switch happens. Like if it's a layer two or layer three, then forward the information and IOM also keep uh, the forwarding information. And the data packet is then sent to SFCPM. So uh, the data uh, the data uh, the data will be sent to sf and if it's a control function it will be sent to cpm you will see this later on in the diagram so when the data is coming from mda uh, to iom uh, this is the data coming it comes to mda and from the back plane uh, it is sent through input output this is input output module so data goes through uh, through switch fabric. It does not go inside the control panel, the CPU. So it just go from the switch fabric, returns back, and go out to the customer. And the control panel also go through the same MDA, through the same input output module. But from input output module, it is sent to CPM, CPU. Sorry, CPU, and then return back. So this is the most important thing that you need to understand. The data plane go through SF and the control plane goes through CPM, CPU. 
uh, the switch fabric then forward the data to the appropriate IOM where it is sent to the appropriate ingress MDA. Data plane operation happens only after the control plane has built the forwarding information and store it in, in the IOM. So the forwarding information is stored in our input output module. The control plane and data plane function uses the same MDA. As you can see, uh, it's going through the same MDA, but the control packet process through uh, SF CPM module. That's why they call it SF CPM. SF is for data and CPM is for control module. Data packet are switched from the ingress IOM. So you will see that, uh, so the progress will be MDA, data coming to MDA, then IOM, then if it's data, it will go to switch fabric, and if it's control panel, it will go to CPU. So in this, uh, the questions that you can see in the certification exam, so what we have studied so far, which of the following is not a product in Alcatel Lucent 7750 series? We know that in 775, uh, 7750SR, we have three uh, chassis type, SR1, uh, 7, and 12. So same goes for ESS. ESS also, uh, 7450 also have the same. Uh, uh, one, seven, and twelve. So in this question, uh, SR six is not the part. SR six is not the part of seven seven five zero SR. So this is the answer. C is the answer. Now, which of the following statement is false regarding the Alcatel Lucent seven four five? Following statement is false regarding the Alcatel Lucent seven four five zero ESS. ESS is used for Ethernet aggregate. So for it's for multiple GSS type, this is true because ESS like SR uses the same 1, 7, and 12 GSS type. So this is uh, true. Uh, it is used primarily for Ethernet aggregation. This is true also. It can be managed by console. This is true also. So it, it, uh, it support OSPF, ISS. So this is false. So question uh, for the answer will be because it's, it's only for Ethernet aggregate. So protocol like BGP are not uh, supported. So B is the answer. So next, question number three that you can see in your certification exam is how many of the front access card of Nokia 770 router are dedicated for redundancy? That I have already told you that CF and CPM uh, is a controller card, so there is a redundant. So uh, the question is two. Uh, the answer is uh, B two. So there are two cards. Which of the following describes the Nokia seven seven five zero input output module? Small optical module available on a variety of formats contain a CPU for managing the forwarding hardware in the flex pass path, convert traffic from an uh, external uh, standard format to the internal format, contain a CPU that runs a routing protocol software, uh, as well as switching fabric. So which of the following describes, so small optical module available for input, this is wrong. Uh, convert traffic from an internal, we know that MDA do this, uh, contain a CPU that runs the routing protocol software as well as known as switch fabric, this is also not true, contain a CPU for managing the forward, uh, forwarding hardware in the flex path. We know this that from MDA in, uh, informations come to IOM and it forward this information uh, to SF CPM. So contain, so the Answer for this is B, contain a CPU for managing the forwarding hardware in the flex path. The fifth question, the typical Nokia 7750SR media dependent adopter MDA interfaces with, we know that uh, all our customers are connected with MDA, which then transfers, uh, which converts their information into an internal format and forward it to IOM. So this means 
uh, they are connected uh, with fiber optic cables because all the customers are connected with fiber optic cable, a small uh, form factory, uh, factory plug-in SFP module contain a CPU unit, the control plane, the fabric tray. So, so the answer is SFP. So all our customers uh, are connected to 7750 through MDA. So the answer is A. I will continue uh, this lecture, this certification exam uh, uh, on my following videos. Uh, please subscribe so you can get the notification. Thank you very much.